Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason. Today's video, we're going to unbox and set up the all new Superbox S5 Max. Okay guys, so Superbox just sent me their latest box. This is the Superbox S5 Max. It is a smart media player, 6K, Android 12. Gigabyte, it supports Wi-Fi 6, 4 gigs plus 64 gigs. Supports 6K, it's an old TA box, and it's an H265. Let's open it up, let's see what's inside. So here's the box, let's put this aside for now. Okay, so we have a plug, standard. When you order this box, you can order it for your region. HDMI. And their, uh, what's this, manual. Put this aside. So if you guys are familiar with their, with the super box, it's their same box, it's the RC-200. It's the Bluetooth remote with voice command. I do have a video and I'll put in the description how to program these four buttons. Okay, let's put this aside. Let's open up the box, let's check this out. First glance, just so you guys know, it's actually metal. I know their other versions were plastic. This is the S5 Max. So here on the side, we have the micro SD slot, USB 1, USB 2, a restore button, two antennas, Power, IR, AV, HDMI, Ethernet, optical, which you don't see too many of these with it. Nothing on the side over there. So all we got to do now, let's uh, hook it up. So the box is booting up. Okay, so the box just boots right up. There is no setup involved. Are the apps already pre-installed as well? Let's check. Nope. So that part we still need to do. So let's head over to the app store. Right here, the little Android guy, we have to download this. So let's press OK. There we go. So now let's go back to the app store. There we go. So all these apps are pre-installed already on the box. So you could download any one you want. But we're going to download the main ones, which is Blue VOD, Blue TV, Playback, And we have the backup apps as well, which is Backup TV. We're going to install that one as well. And this one right here, Grind MC. OK, 
you guys use Netflix, you could download Netflix, YouTube. Okay, so once you finish downloading the ones you want, let's return out of here. If you guys want to download some from the Play Store, just head over to the Play Store. You will have to log in and you can download any app you want in there as well. Okay, so once we exit out of there, now let's head back to live TV. Now we need to add the app here. So let's do that now. Press OK and look for it. And here it is right here. And you can also see the V5. So this is the latest version. Once we got the check mark, let's hit the return key. Now return one more time. Now let's do the same thing for VOD. Press OK to enter. Press OK to add. And now we're going to look for the blue VOD. And it's right here. So press OK. Once we got the check mark, let's hit the return key. And there it is. Let's do the last one. Exit out. So the playback now. Once again, press OK. OK again. And now let's uh, look for it. Here it is right here. Press OK. The return key to exit. And one more time. And down here at the bottom, you could add anything you want. So I'm going to add a couple more. So I'm going to hit press OK. Keep in mind, guys, you can even add these ones down there. You really don't need to put them in the live TV section. But I'm going to add the backup one. Once again, once you got the check mark, press the return key to exit out of it. And just follow the same steps. Next one, check mark, then hit the return key to exit out. And I want YouTube there as well. There we go. Okay, so now I have all the ones I want. If you head down here to the bottom, here's your settings. So I am hardwired. If you're going to go to wireless, you just got to go over here, then select your wireless connection. There's only one thing I want to check here. So I'm going to go to device preferences. I want to go here and I just want to go check one thing real quick locations. So right here, location status, I'm going to press OK. And right here, I want to turn this off. OK, so we exit out here. The one thing before we do anything else, usually we have to add the remote. This one, because we didn't have the setup at the very beginning, this box looks like it really comes pre set up for us. Just press the mic button on the remote and it should give us the option to program the remote, at least the Bluetooth part. As you guys can see here, we have to press the OK button and the return button at the same time. So once the light starts to flash, we're going to press OK. There you guys have it. So if you did it correctly, you're going to get the same message I got. Make sure you are pointing the remote control to the front of the box in order to do that. Because keep in mind, guys, it is not on Bluetooth mode until you do this one section. So now you can point the remote anywhere you want and it will work. OK, let's see if anything's changed in the actual program. So let's press OK. Let's try live TV first. So not much has changed on this section right here. It is the new TV guide. I'm just going to exit out of here. Let's go to VOD. Let's see if anything's changed there. Here's VOD. Loading for the first time. So let's go down to the movie section. Once again, there's not much changed here. TV series. Once again, there's not much changed here. Exit out of there. Let's check out playback.
So right here, we could go all the way back to December 11th. Pick the channel you want. And now, if you missed the show, not a problem. Just come over here and you could actually go back and watch your show. And you also have the backup one as well. There you go. So there's your live TV, uh, the backup movies, backup TV series. Everything's right here. Okay, so let's try this remote control. So we're going to hit the mic button. Live TV. History Channel. History. Discovery. I have to say, I love voice control, remote controls. It makes life so much easier, especially with all these channels that we have. It makes it a lot easier to find what we're looking for. Let's try the movies now. Open VOD. So once you're in this section, doesn't matter about the movies or TV series. You could just hit the mic button and it will it will find what you're looking for. Uh, let's see. Home Alone. There you guys have it. So down here at the bottom, here's the settings. Folder. You're plugging something onto the side, the USB or the micro SD. You can locate it here. Or if you have a network hard drive on your home network, you'll be able to access it here as well. Right over here on the NFS sharing. Over here is the brush. Once in a while, you really should be using this. What it does is it clears all the cachette that's built up on your box. This is your speed test. Trash can. You want to delete any of the apps we just installed. This is where you do it. Keep in mind, guys, this will delete it from the actual box. You're going to have to reinstall this afterwards. If you want to remove an app from down here, it says right on it, uh, remove one of your favorites apps, just hit the menu button. So on the remote control, just hit menu, which is the three dashes, and it will disappear. This is the microphone button, press it, and it will set up your remote. So if you notice your remote stopped working for some reason, as you guys can see, mine says it is connected. Yours will go automatically to searching. So if it's in searching, that means you're gonna have to follow these steps one more time. So right here at the very end, you got a person with the headphone set. If you click on there, so this is the section if you need customer support, you could come right over here. So there you guys have it. So that's the new S5 Max by Superbox. If you guys are interested in this box, I will have a link in the description where to get it. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, hit those thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.